military training. A remarkable plane, and as Mark said, one that served and soldiered on for many years in civilian guise as a private transport. Here too, Mr. Mark Ginucci returning from his flight, cockpit open. Again, another round of applause, please, for Mr. Ginucci as he makes good his return today. Our three pilots, three veterans of the United States Navy's aviation program. And not to be outdone, I can see that he's made short work of it because that is the nature of the Sentinel. Here is Mr. R.J. Smith returned from his flight, coming in now. He's keeping it in the air just barely, and there goes the tailwheel, down on the ground. A soft and simple landing by a very talented pilot. So again, as Mr. Smith passes by Mr. Ganushu, who I can see is waving from his cockpit. Again, don't be shy. Feel free to wave as he passes you by. And you can do the same. I can see the door is down, the window is open, and Mr. Smith can see you as he passes by. I said to Mark yesterday, I think that the Sentinel goes faster on the ground than it does in the air. How cool is that, though? Elbow on the side there, side screen down. It's like he's cruising the strip of Virginia Beach in a Mustang, isn't it? Though? Well, probably not a Mustang. <laughs> Pottering along in a VW Beetle, but look at that, though. What a way to spend a Saturday afternoon. And are you having a good time? Do you think this is a good way to spend your Saturday afternoon? All right. Well, we are so happy to have you here at the Military Aviation Museum. And I know Mr. Robert Boom Powell feels the same way. Also taking a long time for his tailwheel to touch down, demonstrating his dexterity 